it seems to me like in order for Chicago to become a place of peace, all them is just going to have to turn into Muslims. YouTube. Mark. What's poppin', man? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I go by Don. If you new folk, go ahead and do me a big one. Do me a big solid, man. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. After you ring the bell, though, make sure you hit all. You feel me? So you don't miss a bang on that game. We got some good content for y'all, man. We're going to talk about that boy, Schmirt. He said something in public. I got in his DM and made him apologize. I can't tell you what I had told him for real. It's for something good though. I'm the type of YouTuber, right? Even though y'all know the negativity, the mess, it, it gonna bring the traction, man. But I do like to highlight people when they do something positive if I'm gonna highlight them when they do something negative. So Lil Durk did a, I wanna say it was his B-Day bash in Chicago. I think it was this weekend that just passed. And he decided to honor the fallen rappers from the rap. What surprised me was he put a couple of his ops up there. He had a couple of people from the other side of the tracks up there. And I just want to say, I commend Dirk for that, bro. I just feel like you got to be a hell of a person to honor somebody or recognize somebody who you know didn't like you. Who you know probably took a hand in taking out some of your partners. Now, I ain't see Melly face up there. Uh, I guess Dirk, you know, God ain't done with him yet. You feel what I'm saying? And I do understand why he kind of couldn't put Melly face up there. Because, boy... I just reacted on Melly the other day on my second reaction channel. Y'all tap in over there. And Melly was really in them streets causing hell for Lil Dirk. It's going to take some real praying for Dirk to probably forgive Melly. But he did put Duck up there. I saw LBG Cash up there. It was a couple of the other guys from the other side up there. And uh, who to say? We don't know who made this little uh, conjunction of photos so Dirk could show that to the city of Chicago. But... What I want to say is that it is progress for the rap. And I'm not going to be the one to react to something negative about Chicago and then don't want to throw a little positivity out there about Chicago because I like Chicago. I've heard great things about Chicago. Got good food. It's a nice city to go to go see. And the fact that Chicago is seen how it's seen, I'm pretty sure it takes a lot of money out of the city of Chicago. And I think that the mayor likes stuff like this because it's going to bring money into the city of Chicago. And the fact that Chicago let Dirk come back and do a show, bro, that's amazing because from what I heard back in the day, the city of Chicago, the state of Illinois didn't want Lil Dirk nowhere around them. And then he had J-Main there, bro. Now, it would have been dope if being up black could have been there. A 051 driller could have been there. Or some of those guys. But like I said, God ain't through with dirt yet. Now, I'm going to just say this and I'm going to put this out here, bro. It seems to me like in order for Chicago to become a place of peace, all them niggas just going to have to turn into Muslims. Now, gang, let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. Ring that bell. Make sure you hit all 3600 by the day. 4K, we on the way, road to 10K, the 100K plaque will be ours by the top of the year. I go by done. I love y'all, man. And don't forget to support all my other YouTube channels, all links in the description down below. And follow me on my gram, man, Kingdom underscore seven. Let's get it.